Hi, welcome to the Chart Touch video. This is new technology that we integrated a few months ago, but we wanted to get out this video and show you exactly how this works. This is particularly useful for IFR pilots, but let me quickly show you something that we've added in the 6.9.3 release due in May 2003. Charts, the approach charts will now automatically center and scale as large as they can be so that you can see the entire chart. Uh, this is important especially on the high res devices such as the iPad 3s, iPad 4s. You can still you know, pinch and zoom uh, as, as much as you want and you'll notice that it, the chart will stay centered. Uh, but we can, we can pinch and zoom as much as you want and it centers and, and scales it perfectly for you. So let me move on to Chart Touch and what I've done is I've set up a route from Reno to Lake Tahoe and I have the approach chart into Lake Tahoe. You can see the route up there between Reno and, and South Lake Tahoe Airport. Let me also display um, the, the sectional. So what I have now is the, the route on the left, the sectional, as well as the approach shot into uh, Lake Tahoe. What I want to do now is, is add a couple of points. So let's say I want to fly this approach. Now ATC might tell us proceed direct to one of these fixes or to a VOR or something along the route. But let's just say we wanted to actually go fly this approach in, in, in uh, IMC conditions and we wanted to have each of these points entered for our route. We can simply tap on the point. I mean, you know, uh, Wing X Pro 7 users are used to just tapping on a point, for example, like that on the sectional. Now you can also do it on the approach charts. And again, we've had this for, for several months now. Uh, and uh, it, it's, it's very, very useful technology so that you don't have to actually go enter the points up in the top left. You can simply tap on the chart. So let's tap on, on the chart over there. We can add that point. Let's say yes, add that to the route. And you'll notice each time we do this, WingX will automatically add the point <coughs> in the appropriate place in the route. We can, we can uh, add, add that point, say so add that to the route and uh, we can really just go down and you know this this just takes a few seconds and um, add that to the route and now automatically we have all those points in the route and we can go fly that approach you'll also notice that when we did that WingX was updating the sectional uh, chart over there let's say we we brought up an IFR low for example um, same thing there's the, there's the route that we just entered to that fix and all the fixes along the way down into the airport. Again, if we want, we can turn on runway extensions and we can get the, uh, the runway extensions. You can see we're flying directly into runway 18, which is, which is exactly what we want. So I uh, hope you like this. And uh, again, it's, it's, it's really great technology and very, very, uh, very useful, especially for, um, for IFR pilots. Thank you.